It is the popular saying that a nerdy society is a worthy one. On the Greater Program, medical experts are available to provide solutions to various health challenges. You desire greatness in life. Successful men and women in the society are available on the Great Man Program to reveal to you the secrets to their greatness. The Great Man of Nancy Oshudo is a much watch for all. Meet me on the program every Sunday between 3.30 and 4 p.m. Happy Sunday to you all. It is another exciting moment with me. Bola, all lie on the, on the program, the great might. The personality we are celebrating on the program this week is late Eta Yodo Odeleye, former district governor of Rotary Club. Why on the S segment we are discussing the efficacy of memo in the treatment of various illness. More so, we are celebrating the faithfulness of God over Osho Etisora's agency by making the agency to be a leading agency among the committee of states in the country. Osho Etisora's agency, an organization established purposefully with the mission to provide the people of Osho State access to qualitative health care free from financial hardship by pulling force from public private partnership to strengthen healthcare system based on equity, integrity, transparency, and solidarity while providing regulatory oversight. The core value of functional Etisora's agency rests solely on equity, which makes the agency to be fair, impartial, and operate without bias and favoritism. Since the health of the people of Fortune State is the top priority of Kano Adebega, which the leadership of Fortune Etisora's agency and its members of staff are committed to making every resident in the state to have access to quality health care without tears. In line with the aim of the Kano, who has also passed support for the agency. The chairman, board of directors of the Edisonas Agency, Honorable Adio Yadilako, has this to say about the plans of the agency for the year 2022. plan that uh, the agency has for this new year is basically to have our own building. You can see that this space is inadequate in terms of uh, accommodation and space our staff and uh, already we believe that we are due to have our own building the insurance house the health insurance house is being planned to really be in, a, in, a, in the main secretariat where there will be assurance of security such that we don't get attacked as it came about during the answers we are most of our things were carted away and we really had to start again and we have more space for our staff to be able to do their work conveniently and conducively and with respect to the to our enrollment they are we have put a lot of um, things in place to let people know the mileage we have had in terms of taking care and giving uh, the inhabitants of the state access to quality health care for very small amounts and they are enjoying it already and those that have enjoyed it are really telling others and we are doing a lot of advocacy to ensure that people know more about what the agency is doing in the state and at least we have had accolades. People have actually given us kudos for what we have been able to do. But this is not to say that um, we are 100% in our district. We are trying to improve even on the services we provide for others. That's one of the reasons why we want to have business offices in all the local governments and the SED in the states, such that 
monitoring of the uh, of the insurance policy in the lives of people can be easy. We can easily monitor our HMOs and we can monitor our healthcare providers, and the people will be able to really get to the main uh, to the main office real time because everything will be connected through the internet and we will be able to monitor what they are doing and see if what we are paying the healthcare providers is being well taken care of and they are also taking good care of our enemies in their the executive secretary board of directors of the health insurance agency dr adeni yogini who repeat that the agency succeeded in a rolling to only than 4,906 people in the year 2021 expressed the readiness of the agency in embarking on strong sensitization exercise to raise the enrollment of the informal sector for the people who are not in the public sector to also benefit maximally from the GSA healthcare packages being offered by the agency. We thank God for the success that we were able to record uh, last year. Um, as of December last year, 2021, our total enrollment figure had risen to 204,906 individuals that are enrolled under the scheme. 2004,000. 204,906 out of which we have 85,099 being formal sector that is the civil servant and their dependents 85,099 and then the informal sector was still very very far behind our target of 5% what we have is 1,959 as at the end of last year 1,959 in the informal sector and then for the vulnerable population both for basic care provision fund and state equity we have a total of 69,933 whereas for the tertiary institution social health insurance program for the tissue catering for tertiary institution students we have a total of 43,915 so if we add all of them together we have 204,000 906. That is what we have so far. It looks a very small, you know, figure compared to the approximate uh, 5 million population in Ocean State. But if we, you know, look at the percentage, that would be about 0.397%. Uh, that is about 4%. Uh, if we consider the fact that NHIS having operated for 15 years, did not cover 5% of the population. And OIS, having operated for two years, has covered 4% of the population. We can extrapolate and see where we will be in three years, in four years, in five years, in 10 years. I'm sure that going at this pace, we will have covered a significant proportion of the population of this state, uh, giving the opportunity to continue the way we have been doing. So yes, we, 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 we don't feel we have done too well in terms of meeting the target of uh, maximum uh, enrollment, particularly in the informal sector. But uh, comparing with other health insurance agencies, our parent body, that is National Health Insurance Scheme, and other state health insurance agencies, we see that we have done very, very well. Even though we are not resting on our OAS, our target for the new year is to ensure that we raise the bar, we raise the enrollment of the informal sector. To the glory of God, we have actually enrolled, we have started the program of the formal sector, that is the civil servants and their dependents, and that is being consolidated. This year, our focus is accelerated, uh, aggressive marketing of the informal sector aggressive marketing of the informal sector for accelerated enrollment so that at the end of the first quarter of this year by the end of march we can say that our informal sector enrollment has doubled 
So we expect that we'll be having close to 4,000 enrollees at the end of March. That is part of the things that we are envisioning. And we know it is possible. Uh, in this regard, some of the things that we are planning to do is to expand our work. Now we are moving into the local government offices. Uh, we went working together with the council managers, local government chairman last year to uh, get a space, an office space allocated to us for our business office in the various local, local governments so that we can take OIS closer to the people. That will be our liaison office in the local government and our business officers and the ad hoc staff that have been working with us at the headquarters here, working on basic care provision fund and things, we are going to deploy them to those local governments where they are going to now serve as the local government OIS business officers. And they will be liaising with the grassroots people, they will be involved in publicity, they will be involved in marketing, they will be involved in collection of data, they will be involved in management of data, you know, collation, analysis and transfer of data to the headquarters. Those will be their major functions and they will be visiting our healthcare providers at the various local governments to ensure that standards are maintained, problems are addressed real time, and that uh, we can uh, encourage more and more people within those localities, particularly the informal sector, uh, you know, uh, people to enroll, the market women, the farmers who are doing well, and uh, other people within the local government areas. So that is what we plan to do this year by the grace of God. And this year, we also hope to uh, commence the um, erection of Oshun Health Insurance Agency Office Complex, the permanent site. Mr. Governor has graciously allocated a portion of land for us at the uh, sectarians, state uh, government sectarians, because here you see many times we have been boggled here, this place is not secure, but uh, in the in the state sectariat there is more security for us, so we are actually uh, moving by the grace of God, we hope to move. This 2022, by the grace of God, we intend to move to our permanent site, because Mr. Governor, Adebo Igaitola, is very passionate about establishing this agency on a very good footing and leaving a legacy. So by the time his first term is expiring, he would have started and would have completed the building, he would have launched it before he starts his second term by the grace of God. Agitation, ito ilera, a little of Nick, will you show? Ni Yoruba. Lily, she to ilera, a little of Nick, will you show? Tia Dassile, Pelu, Yoruba. Lastly, we pay a more old big, will you show me a funny? Say to ilera, to pay ye. Lily, she to ilera, a little of Quille, or show ye no cherry pay. I want to die, Lily, shall not Pelu, I want to share more, which is shared up with that is JP, Eruba, Gomina, the big Guitola, that's the UP, Ubo, Ubi, Pilio Shongwani, and Lafia, you pay Wasi, Emoshe. I like a Jimotun, Daddy, Ile, Shed to Lira, I used to for Ni, Pilio Shong, or Ruba, do Yadilacon, Sala Yamu too, Tilly Shan on the phone, or don't I wagging? I do better alone for no to Koya. As you do better alone for in Tiron, she, in my initiate, Nipasi, I want Shetanshi. We are We are young. We are young. We are young. We are young. We are Ti mo si ni pe ni pase ise yi won ri opolopo 
Ti ati ni isori isori ata won ti o te wa rowo ori awon e gan fe pe eh e degberin eh ni nu awon to je bi pe won ti eh won ti fo ko ta sin ja anfani kini to pe won lo lai se pe won ni lati san owo kankan adupe lowo gomina wa eh eh ogbe ni adebo ega oye tola tori bi pe ti ba se bi pe eh won won so pe eyan kan ni lo wa leyin oro to ro fi ndu abi be ko ti ba se bi pe won je oloto ti o mo nfe mu le ri se gege bo ti se le ri pe awon pese toju fa won odugbe ipinde osun aten to rowo ori ati ti o rowo ori atunji onisowo ati onise joba bi pe awon pese eto ilera to mu na doko nipa e ajo adoju to fu ilera ni ipinde osun Bansi se gori alefa na ni won se bere ise igba kan na la jo bere ise gbogbo awon nkan ti won ni lati fi kale en bo en bo fe sakula ni o won se gbogbo e na se titi kan ra owo pe ka fi mo toju awon ti o rowo ori so nipa ati leyin won ati ran won olorun ti a ri gba ati ri bi pe o koja igba igberu awon eyan to ti wa nbe a si dupe lo olorun bi pe eto yen o lo bo si o lo afoju sun wa fun odun 2022 yi ona ni pe ta ba wo daada awon ta wa lori awon iya loja ni o awon lokada ni o awon ni moto ni tin se moto ni o awon ni se wo ni o fun o ti to nkan kan gbogbo ita ni sin ti e lo fi din ni egberun meji eyan ninu bi million ma ru eyan to wa pinle osun so a fe lotun yi a ti raka gbogbo akiti yan ta ba ni la se lati ri bi pe awon ta ti ba je mu kudo kini tan wa ni a ni awon ya loja baba loja awon ni moto awon onise owo gbogbo won patapata la kan si se mo pe ojojumo la wa lori radio bayi ojojumo lati monday titi di sunday la wa lori radio ta sha an po logo ta an pari wo pe e wa ja anfani kini a tu wa tesi waju ni gbogbo ijoba ibile kokan ani ati ba won chairman soro ati ba won council manager soro kan fun wa ni yara won ni lati fi nkan kan sibe kan sha fun wa yara ta ba ti ri yara awon la fi chair sibe awon la fi table sibe awon la gbe ero ayara bi asha sibe ana la post business officer wa lati headquarter wa bi sibe lati le je ki ajo wa ko tu sumo awon ara alu ni ese kukuju ta teyin wa lo to be ge to je bi pe ninu odun yo afoju sun wa ni bi pe la ni kota kini iyan ko to ri pa bo social kerin lagbara olorun a ti ni ilopo meji awon ta ni ninu awon itan pe ni informal sector 
ye pe awon iya loja baba loja awon ni se owo awon ko gbo pa ba ye pe a ti do bi egberun merin nkan ti a fojusu ni olohun si ti o se se fun wa yato si ye eh eh pelu ati leyin gomina wa ge ba tin so eh a di pe a ti to lati berezin ko ile ti wa na eh e ri pe bi ye opolopo gba 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 tan se ensasi ensasi gbo bi pa ta ni won fo ko si nkan ta gbe won gbo gbo ta won tu lo gbe awon ta fin ya gbe ni eh toilet gbo e na gbe lo titi kan a penso ati ba ro wa na gbe won gbe computer won gbe fan won gbe gbo won gba da wa won gbe fridge won gbe gbo e lo leyin gba na won tu ti wa vandalize won tu wa ba transformer je se ri ko na ri pe bi ta wa yi o se die so eh lagbara olohun won ti ni pe won ti fo won si pe ka bere eh ile ti wa eyi ti o wa ni eh abere won ti fun wa ni ile ta ko si ninu eh secretariat la bere ibe na ni a ko ile si afojusun wa ni wi pe lagbara olohun ko to ri wi pe eh gomina wa de ko ga to la pari sa kini re yi a ti fi ile ye won ti si ile ye fun wa lati lati be sin lo ki e je ikan ninu awon eh eh o eh o aseyori ti ami gomina wa ogbe na ri bo ega to to tu se ya to se ogbe to tin se bo lati yin wa iyan tu je ikan na tan se ni sa akoko won de ke bi gomina ipinle osun olohun fun ala olori ofe lati le se Lemon belongs to citrus group of fruits. Lemon is known to be rich in vitamin C content. It ranks high as a medicinal food because of its efficacy in the treatment of many ailments. Lemon is sometimes mistaken for lime. Lemon is different from lime. Lemon is bigger than lime. Lemon is oval in shape with rough thin a loose right light yellow in color when ripe it's usually a pale yellow pulp with abundant juice and small number of seeds lemon is rich in many food ingredients particularly citric acid it is valued for its juice which can be used as an accessory food as it usually increases the flavor and improves the taste of various dishes. It has been discovered that lemon can be used for the treatment of scurvy, throat infections, indigestion, constipation, dental problem, fever, rheumatic disease, obesity, cold, circulatory disorders and other ailments. Dr. Shiji Olamiju, a renowned pharmacist and special assistant to the governor on public health. Lemon is a very good source of vitamin C. And that high level of vitamin C content actually confers a great deal of, you know, antioxidant property. Then it has high content of uh, potassium as well. And you know the effect of potassium in uh, Then also, it has uh, antioxidant, as I've said, it has antioxidant property, it scavenges the radicals. It also has anti-cancer effect, anti-tumor effect. And this anti-tumor effect is noted is documented and that is why it is it is also a very good protective against oral cancer you are welcome back to the segment we always celebrate the achievers of our time in the society the personality we are celebrating this week is the late and the building of the lady from our district Governor of Fruity Club. We are celebrating him because of the impact he has succeeded in making in the lives of many people while he was alive. Eda Bio Dondeleye was born in this house at Sobarubri's compound in Dogon, Aidadi Luku Gramet, on December 20, 1952, to Mrs. Felicia Odeleye and Pa Joseph Odeleye. 
is a third elementary education at Luke's Primary School, Dogon, in 1960. He proceeded to Dogon Odomo Anglican Grammar School in 1966. Edabio who is a first class graduate from the University of Ife, now Bafemi University, worked for others for some years with full commitment and dedication to duty before establishing his own company. Edabio Dodeleye joined Rotary Club in 1983 as a chartered member of Rotary Club Ushudu and later became the district runner of Rotary 9130 in the year 2004. The tenure of the chartered estate valuer Edabio Dodeleye as the district governor of Rotary 9130 was full of achievements, making him to back national and international awards in acknowledgement of his service to humanity. May God grant eternal rest to Eda, Yodun, Odeleye, and watch over the people he left behind. Eda, Yodun, Odeleye succeeded in leaving his footprint on the sands of time by making impact on the lives of many people while he was alive. With that, we are ending this week edition of the program. Next Sunday is another date. God willing, today, stay blessed.